in this video you will learn how you can add registrants into your zoom meetings directly and automatically from google sheets application for that guys you have to connect google sheets as the as the trigger application and zoom as the action application in the automation workflow and after that whenever you are going to add any person in google sheet the same person will be automatically added as the registrant in zoom as well and we are going to set up this automation without any coding very easily so let's begin so we are using pavli connect an automation tool to set up this automation and this is the landing page of Pavli Connect, and I have pasted the same link in the description as well. So from here, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay, so you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect application. And guys, here you have to uh, create a workflow of automation. For that, just click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Google Sheets to Zoom. Okay. And after giving the name, just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, you can set up any automation. So here you can see trigger is an event which is going to start this workflow so here it is saying when this happens and the action would be the consequence of the trigger so it is saying do this all right so in our use case the trigger would be adding of data in google sheets and the action would be to add the registrant in zoom so google sheet would be our trigger application so search for google sheets here here it is selected all right and the trigger event would be new or updated rows option and it will give you this webhook url so with the help of this you can make a connection with google sheets by following these steps written here or what you can do you just click on this watch tutorial here text and you will reach our youtube channel and here we have a separate video dedicated video on the connection of google sheets in the trigger so you can learn the connection from the video as well or you can just follow the instructions. After that, we are going to capture the response of that webhook connection, okay? So let me show you how we can capture the response. So this is my spreadsheet application in which I am adding the details of the registrants. And uh, here I have opened this in incognito window because I'm using multiple Google accounts in the same browser. So if you're also using multiple accounts, it is better to open the spreadsheet in incognito mode to make the connection, okay? So from here, I'm going to click on extensions and from this public connect webhooks add on, I'm going to click on initial setup. And here you will find these two fields, the webhook URL and the trigger column. So in the webhook URL field, we are going to paste the URL that we copied from the uh, workflow. And the, in the trigger column, I'm going to put the last or the final data entry column, which is the D column here. Okay, so this means whenever we are going to enter the uh, data in the D column that is going to trigger the workflow. So the D column is the trigger column. So you can see guys, I have copied the URL here and it started showing waiting for the response. Okay. Now go back to the spreadsheet extensions, public connect webhooks, initial setup. And here, let me erase this previously pasted URL. Let me paste a new one and the trigger column is the same D. Now click on send test button and the date of the first row that I have entered will be sent as the test data to the workflow. You can see here it is written test data sent successfully. Okay, now you can check in your workflow if you got the data. And here you can see guys in the response section, I got the details. So this, this is the spreadsheet's name. This is the trigger column. Here you can see the sheet's name and this is the data I have entered. This is the first name, last name, phone number and the email address. Okay. So we are done capturing the test data. Now you can click on submit here. Okay, close this window. And from the extensions, go to Pabli Connect Webhooks uh, add on again. And here click on send on event option as well. So when you click on send on event, whenever you are going to add any new row here, that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay, right. Now come back to the workflow. And here after getting the test data, we want to 
क्रिएट अ रजिस्ट्रेंट इन जूम मीटिंग ओके सो दिस इज द जूम मीटिंग एप्लीकेशन गाइज एंड हेव आई एम अंडर माई मीटिंग सेक्शन एंड दिस इज द मीटिंग आई हैव क्रिएटेड टाइटल लेस टीम मीटिंग दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन दिस वॉज द डेट एंड दिस इज द मीटिंग आई डी एंड दिस इज द रजिस्ट्रेशन लिंक ओके सो एंड हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव जीरो रजिस्ट्रेंट्स राइट नाउ ओके नाउ गाइज वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू हेव आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस एक्शन स्टेप एंड हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट विद जूम सर्च फॉर जूम ओके and the action event would be is to add meeting registrants select this option then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with zoom and here you can see as we have already logged in in zoom it got connected here like this okay and here it is asking for the meeting's name so the name of my meeting is you can see name of my meeting is team meeting so you have to search for it from this drop down team meeting here it is team meeting and now it is asking for the email address first name last name address and all the details of the registrant so here we we are going to use this test data that we have received from our spreadsheet from google sheets application and i am going to map these labels here in these fields so to map the email address you just have to click here on this field and in the drop down it will show you the previous or the trigger step and when you click on it it will show you all the data here only so from here you can just click on the email address to map it like this similarly map the first name label map the last name label okay so these are the required things that we have to add and you can leave these things blank if you don't have the information but i do have a phone number let me map the phone number okay right and uh, here i am leaving all these things blank these are not compulsory things okay now you can check your connection with uh, zoom by clicking on save and send test request button and a test registrant will be added here in this meeting so let us see i am going to click on save and send test request button here and this is the response we have received let's check in zoom if we got a new registrant added or not so here you can see i am going to open the registration details and here you can see a new registrant is added here named as test user and the test at the rate pavlitters is the email address and this is the registration date this is the today's date and these are the same informations i have filled here you can check the name here test user and here you can see test user is added here with the same email address so this is how it is going to work guys our connection is working fine and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually here because we have mapped the labels here so when you map labels here like this whenever this workflow is going to execute the labels are going to be updated and new information will be sent every time this workflow executes so uh after setting up it once you don't have to do anything manually after that after setting up this whenever you are going to add any person here in the spreadsheet the person is going to be directly added into your zoom meeting registrant as a registrant automatically and this workflow is going to run in the background all right and if you want to use this workflow you can use it because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel